And the second email today comes to us from Darth Impact, who writes, I'm a 51-year-old man. Well, hey, man, good on you. And my question might be a weird one to some, but where's the live-action Sailor Moon movie? Love that show, and if you're a fan of anime, you watch Sailor Moon, thanks for taking my question. All right, thanks a lot for that, uh, Darth. And you know what? It, it never ceases to surprise me how many people really like Sailor Moon. I mean, I've, I've never been in Sailor Moon, whatever, but I've got friends who are really into Sailor Moon. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, Kaori, Kaori loves Sailor Moon. Actually, I think I've got a pop. I've got a Sailor Moon pop around here somewhere that I think Kaori gave me. Anyway. Um, but a lot of dudes love Sailor Moon. It is a worldwide recognized IP. It is something that has been around a long time that everybody knows the property, everybody knows the characters, all that kind of stuff. It has, it has a certain following, blah. So where's the live action movie? Why has Hollywood never taken a chance on the live action movie? I, I think there's a couple of reasons. And by the way, apparently there was a live stage show you know, like how Hamilton and Lion King have live stage shows? Apparently last year, in early 2018, I think there was a live stage show of um, uh, Sailor Moon. So you can go look th that stuff up. I don't know if there's a, a recording of it somewhere where you can watch it, or but see if you can find that there. Anyway, one of the reasons I think they would probably lean away from it is, number one, anime translations to the big screen have not had the best track record, right? I think that we can all agree on. I mean, that's that's just a fact, right? There hasn't been the greatest um, track record of success for live action adaptation of anime properties. It's fair to say that. I, th I think it's fair to say that. We can talk about and argue about all the reasons why they haven't been all that successful for the most part, but I think it's fair to say that, yeah, it hasn't had the best track record. A few shining moments, for the most part, not so great. So obviously that's something that would give the studio a bit of hesitation. I think another thing that would give them a bit of hesitation would be, we're not sure who we're making this for. Like, quite often, when studios pull the trigger and start to do a live-action movie, they know who they're targeting. They're no, they know who they're making this movie for. I think for a studio... It, the question would a little bit become, we're not 100% sure who we're making this movie for or who we're going to be targeting the marketing at. So there's a little bit of that. But look, Hollywood is all about greed. If the execs in the suits at the Hollywood studios thought for a second that they felt really comfortable that if we put out a live-action Sailor Moon movie, it'll make $600 million, it would have been done like that. It would have been done like that. So obviously they feel a little hesitant about it. So I would I still go back to the main thing that I think the main problem here for them is that it's just been the track record. I think there's probably a lot of other studios that are just sitting back and waiting for the next studio to come out. Maybe they're waiting to see how Alita does. Uh, maybe they're waiting. Now that's a little bit of a different thing, I, I know, but they're going to be waiting. You ever see those things where penguins all go to the cliff and they wait for the first penguin to jump in to see if there's any sea lions down there, any, you know, uh, seals down there waiting to eat them. And then once the first penguin jumps in, they're like, okay, cool. And then they all jump in. I feel like that's the Hollywood studios. They're waiting to see for another studio to take that leap of faith first, see if they have any success. And if they do, then they'll go, okay. It's kind of like, you know, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse comes out has modest, great critical success, modest financial success. And ever since Spider-Man came out, oh, now there's talk of a Batman Beyond animated movie. Oh, now there's talk of a Super Pets animated movie. Now there's all this stuff because the first penguin jumped in the water and the first penguin in that case was Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And I just think right now maybe if, if we can get one anime-based thing turned into a live-action thing becomes a hit you're going to see three or four more go into production. But I just can't help but And maybe Sailor Moon will be one of those. I just can't help but wonder that maybe they're waiting a little bit to pull the trigger on that.